Sharks, friends, family, <laughs> wedding rings. Can we see them? It's official. We're the cooks. Yes. Congratulations. It's been a few Thank weeks you. now. Does life feel different as Mr. and Mrs.? It does. Where there's not something to plan looming over our head for no, three years. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a lighter, brighter world on this side. <laughs> no, it's it's great. Amanda, are we calling you Amanda Cook now, or are you Amanda Batula forever? What's the deal? I am Amanda Batula forever. I feel like there is actually only one of me, not me, but like that name. Um, so I'm not ready to give it up. I will be Amanda Batula Cook, and I will never be offended if someone calls me Mrs. Cook. Thank goodness. <laughs> and he should not be offended if anyone calls him Mr. Batula. <laughs> will we get to see that day on TV at some point? Yes. We're excited to kind of share that moment and everything that was involved leading up. All right, so for everyone whose invite was lost in the mail, We'll get to watch it on TV. Um, before that comes, Winter House is coming to our TV screens. We're doing Vermont, baby. Old friends. I'm so excited! New friends. Why are my panties on the ground? And dingleberries. If you had to describe Winter House with one word, what's your word for this season? Chaos? I would just say raw. Raw chaos. Okay, we'll take it. I will take raw chaos. <laughs> It seems like maybe more wildness, craziness, drama was packed into these two and a half weeks than many other seasons of Summer House. But true or false, would you say? Yeah, true. I, I, it was like Summer House on steroids and everybody came to have a good time and make the most of it. Kyle, you get um, pretty messed up in the first episode. First of all, I love cheese. Also, I like bread. Are we blaming it on the altitude? <laughs> Um, I will blame it on a couple things. I'm a, I was a total lightweight going into the house. So I am I was just not able to keep up with Craig and, and Austin for the life of me. I, I also came in with a lot of like excitement. I I just decided I'm gonna get messed up and make a fool of myself. So it was imperative. That was a decision you made? Yeah, I was like, screw it. What's happening? No, well, you know what's happening. Not a threesome. Love, lust. All the things seem to be floating around, either between the air, the water, or the hot tub. What do you think was going on? Look, when I walked out to that, to see that hot tub, I mean, it looked like an orgy, I'll tell you that much. I think that- Sad orgy. In the past, right, you you, you have some single friends, you might think they they might hit it off, but there have been summers where there's like virtually no romance within, you know, our, 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 our summer house and people are hooking up on the side. This was just like a perfect storm because the there chemistry was, was there. numerous people that hooked up. We had eight single people. You know what the difference is? It was the winter. The winter is cuffing season. Everyone was looking for that that person to uh, to bring back to their respective cities. A certain twosome seemed to go Instagram official at your wedding, Paige and Craig. Mm -hmm. Can we say they're dating? Are they saying they're dating? What's going on? I. I think, think so. Yeah, yeah, I think that they have officially, you know, announced. We're so excited for them and we're so excited for them to be able to share, you know, their relationship with all you guys and how it all started and what's been going on with them. Yeah, we're we're all for inner house, inner show <laughs> romance, uh, particularly as a couple. And, you know, it's just fun to see other people, you know, um, put a label on it and make it official. When you look back, you know, they were just friends, you know, in the winter. Paige was in a completely different place with her sights on a completely different man. You have to literally have been sent by God himself. Maybe we're gonna see the spark catch at Winter House, but it seems that she was pursuing Andrea and Craig was still with Natalie at this time. Yeah. So there yeah. were, it, it wasn't was, meant to be in the Winter House. I mean, no, it was all like very much, we were developing a lot of friendships. I mean, we would talk about how much we loved Craig and like how cute he is and being able to build a relationship based off of a friendship first because there was no possibility of anything more is just a great foundation um, for- Doesn't, for it doesn't happen often. But, yeah. But yeah, they were both very respectful of, of each other in this situation. I mean, Paige was in. only interested, <laughs> only had eyes for Andrea, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, you can literally see those like puppy dog eyes. Like, obviously, it does not 
last. It's puppy love, I guess. It does go away quickly. I don't know how quickly we we'll have to figure that one out, but uh, but it is. Did she, it, did she maybe leave the house with the thing with him going? I All I gotta say is it was a long time ago, Bryce. Anything's possible. I don't remember much. But a lot I of do, lover boys have been drank since then. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> I do love that, you know, Paige and I are able to connect on different things and with similarities between Kyle and Craig. And I also love that, you know, Kyle and Craig were friends first. So when we all get together, it's just really easy for the four of us to hang out. Well, and you also just, you have this other shared experience of being reality TV personalities and all of that. And you, it's nice to have somebody to unpack that with who understands it too. Yeah. Well, that's why, I mean, I actually give their relationship a real fighting chance um, because they both understand it. They've, they've, they've kind of gone through that aspect. And anytime you date someone that's not in that world and you pull them in, it is oftentimes a recipe for disaster. You know, I look at how hard it's been for guys like Craig, and I mean, Carl. Um, Carl and Luke, you know, all of a sudden you're bringing someone to the house and it's like a lot. It's and hard it doesn't to always work. find someone that you think is in it for the right reasons or right. doesn't have that jealousy there. And the two of them have shared experiences. And I think it's, it's an awesome, it's awesome relationship and they're really cute together. So are the Summer House and Southern Charm Worlds fully collided? Are we going to see you two pop up in Charleston? What's going to happen? <laughs> well, let's just say we just did launch Loverboy in Charleston. Got to go down there on a business trip. <laughs> there is the other crossover of Lindsay and Austin seemingly maybe giving things some sort of shot, but also complicated by the fact that Sierra and Austin maybe gave things a shot. Is there any hookup that surprised you the most from this vacation? <laughs> I wasn't too shocked. Would I have like paired some people together? Probably not, but. So we're going to see things for the first time. I mean, like what's going on on the third floor? What is the second floor? We have no idea we're down in the basement. Yeah. And unfortunately I, very emotional person and I take on other people's emotions fully and I feel like I cried on behalf of other people. I was gonna ask you about this, that moment cry. in the trailer where we see you having a breakdown. Anyone seen Amanda? I'm just gonna be okay. Is that about something that happened to you or something that happened to someone else? So I'm not completely sure because I, it's, again, the whole two weeks are a little bit blurry. Um, and I'm, it's hard to see exactly where I am in that moment, but I believe it was something that happened to me, I think. Okay, well, there's this whole tease, Kyle, in the trailer that Gabby, one of our new friends, was maybe getting a little too close for comfort with you. Kyle was like hitting on me in the hot tub. <gasps> Gabby's hell-bent on lighting this house on fire. What can you tell me about this dynamic? I think Kyle gets too close for comfort with everybody. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'm eager to see how that played out too, because I don't remember. Uh, and I don't necessarily blame the alcohol. I was just being me. I was being friendly. I'm flirty and I'm also kind of out there. And so maybe I gave her the wrong impressions. Um, I wasn't aware of it until I saw the, the teaser. So, you know. Guess we're Amanda, were you aware of it before you saw No, the you know, Gabby and I, had some really nice moments together and she loves Kyle and I. So I'm quite interested to see what happened and if I am going to have to text her. <laughs> okay. Possibly maybe what was going on. There, there was at one point where I felt Gabby felt all left out. So I was trying to like make her feel included. So maybe I gave her the wrong impressions. Too included. But she's a sweetheart. <laughs> um, it's like, come sit on my lap, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come over here. Let me embrace you. What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> Are we gonna see these people pop up maybe in a different house at a different time? We love <laughs> friends. We we love, you know, keeping in contact with people that we've made great connections with. So there's possibilities. And uh, it wasn't just a, a two week long fling with these yeah. with these friends. We yeah, the Vermont left a mark on us and it's hard to just, you know, leave that in Vermont. <laughs> This is a little bit probably, you know, above your pay grade, out of your hands, but do you think Vermont would happen again? Do you see a season two of this? Selfishly, I'd love to go back because we couldn't really do the apres ski thing, you know, to, to the full extent. 
whether it's in Vermont or Colorado, you know, who knows, but I'd love a, a, another opportunity to do it again. Yeah, it's it'll take another five to 10 years off of my life, but um, <laughs> Minimum. I'm willing to risk it.